Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are back once again playing Dead Ahead Zombie Warfare and today we are going to be buying the new brand new skin Policeman Judy which she looks super awesome. We are also going to be doing some gameplay so you guys can see exactly how awesome she looks. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and see. Right now she will cost me 120 monies. Let's go ahead and pull the trigger and just like that, she looks super awesome. Policeman Judy, she's a support unit. And as you guys know, this actually is, if we go here, if we go to our team and we go to, where's Pepper, 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 where are you? Pepper, Pepper, we're looking for Pepper, which are, oh, there you go, she is Pepper. And as you guys can see there, she is now Policeman Judy, which she looks so different, but she looks super awesome. Here she has gray hair, now here she has black hair. So this will actually make me use her even more. So let's go ahead and go, oh, what? So now let's go ahead and go back. Where is Policeman Judy? I actually did not mean to do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There you go, there's Policeman Judy. So now let's go ahead here and put her to the Policeman. We can actually use this guy too. Although, I see the police. I, I don't think he is, but we can also actually use uh, this guy here, but we do need... I don't want to use Willie because he will take forever to take the barricade down. But let's go ahead and use this guy. This guy will do the trick for sure. And of course, I also want to use a generator so we can get some extra water. So this is pretty much... This can actually be a challenge. This can actually be the police force 3.0, 3.0 or 3.0 or 4.0. I'm not quite sure if we are that far yet, but let's actually go ahead and go into location six, maybe seven, but let's start with location six first. And let's actually give this a try and see how awesome she looks in the battlefield. We're going to go ahead and jump into mission 92. And look at that, we have these little guys. Well, as you guys know, we'll go into flames as soon as they die. But look at that, we have Policeman Judy, which she looks super awesome. I cannot wait to use her. And now we have all these crazy run squadron units, uh, jailers, so he can slow them down a little bit. One by one, take all of them down, but I use the guard. Although, if I use the guard, he might actually finish his mission before I can even take Policeman Judy out. So let's go ahead and take her out and look how awesome she looks on that uniform. And she pretty much will do the same amount of damage. She's not going to do anything different. She just looks different. Uh, which i think is really awesome this will actually make me use her even more now she look i mean she looked pretty good before but i think having her with a brand new skin makes her almost as a new unit even though she's not she just looks so different that you know it actually makes you want to use her even more now so we have all of our police forces here in the battlefield i can actually call this a challenge police force three point like I said, I'm not sure if it's 3.0 or 4.0, but it looks like we are doing pretty good. Police Judy is actually taking the show now. Look at that, that backflip. She is super awesome now. Now, something that somebody pointed out in one of the comments when I did the video where I was showing that new skins were coming so that I had some bit warfare. Why not call her Police Woman Judy and not Police Men Judy? I'm not sure how that works, but I, I think it kind of makes sense to call her police woman beauty since she is a woman and she's not a man. But maybe if she's wearing a costume as a policeman, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what the developers were thinking, but as you guys can see there, she looks super awesome and I do love her a lot. So cannot wait to use her even more now that she looks even more awesome. And as you guys can see here, we have actually a few of them in the battlefield actually what four of them and all we have to do at this point is just pretty much finish the barricade and we are going to take this mission now now i think stage well location six is not going to be so difficult so maybe it's going to jump into stage seven too maybe i don't want to get too cocky because if i go to stage eight i'm going to lose my mind because as you guys know stage eight is super crazy although see like i don't know like how can we open this safe like i do have the money to open it but I, once they click on it it just doesn't open but if i spend the 50 monies i do not want to use my money for that because i already have the coins i don't know if it's a bug or what but it's not opening so go ahead and go into location seven and see how well we are going to do let's go ahead and try the first mission at least although here we have the charge zombies but at least we have the gunslinger which he can potentially get rid of the charge zombies before they get to us but here we have jailer already ready so 
Let's go ahead and wait for policeman Judy to be ready. Oh, excuse me. And we are going to take her out. We have all those crazy zombies. We actually have five of them in the battlefield so far. And we are soon going to be getting the George zombie. Let's go ahead and take policeman Judy out. Look how awesome she looks. Let's go ahead and bring the policeman, her brother, maybe. For the sake for shot and then the policeman does 52 and just like that we are going to be able to take care of all of them they make a really awesome hair they actually do look super awesome yeah let's go ahead and bring yeah you know i don't think i don't think they have well uh, policeman judy just went down and you guys um, i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys went to see her dying on the mission and stuff so there that is as well so yeah i don't think their logo for the police people and the logo for the other forces are exactly the same but they actually look similar but not really but yeah so we have that there and now what we are going to do is we are going to wait for more police duties to be ready and we are going to take her out and hopefully we are able to do good against a charge zombie and take this mission as well but like i say she looks super awesome she will cost you 120 monies which i actually had to spend real money actually five dollars for me to get her because i did have over a hundred regular cases to open and i had 20 legendary ones but even having so many i couldn't get 120 to buy her so i had to actually you know spend the real money in order for me to get her but like i said you guys actually do not have to buy this but if you guys wanted to that's pretty much how much she will cost her and just like that it looks like we are going to be able to take this mission that's why i use my machine gun to get rid of all of those little guys and then I actually want to try a couple of more missions down so you guys can get to see as much gameplay as possible. So if you guys actually want to buy policeman duty, you guys can do so. But just like that, we are going to take this mission down. And we are going to get three star here as well, which is super awesome. There you go, just like that. And now what are we going to do? We're actually, I don't know if I want to jump into stage eight just yet, or even if I'm going to even do one. Um but Let's go ahead and do, excuse me. Now let's go ahead and try and do another mission from stage. Bum, 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 bum. It's actually a location, not stage anymore. Let's do, I don't want to do aliens. I don't want to deal with aliens. Let's do maybe this one, which is going to be a hard one. And this one is the mission 126. And let's see what do we have here. We have this little thing here. I cannot wait for them to ask cousins to the last boss as well as stage six so we can actually get a better idea as to what's going on in stage not six stage seven we have so many alien references around here and we have no idea what the heck is going on so now let's go ahead and wait for either a policeman or police well though i could actually not wait because uh, we have the blue runners which do so much damage there you go policeman judy taking the show again kicking them out the way uh but look at that policeman judy please kill them before there you go uh we're going to get hit with that one that sucks but we actually managed to take them. That's what I'm bringing. Jailer, so Jailer can do. There you go. Some damage here, and oh, uh, but we're going to have even more. So we definitely want to have quite a few of my policemen. Judy, policeman. I actually want to call her policewoman Judy. I think it makes more sense. And the policeman. That way, I can actually go. Uh, actually, we can actually use the gunslinger too. We can actually do against the uh, backflip though good against the eggs because as you guys know once they hit me i'm pretty much just dead go ahead and bring another policeman judy another policeman and let's see how well they're going to do against those and there you go we managed to get rid of all of the eggs we have the blue runners coming in once again i can actually use this give rid of all of them it is my guard to go straight into the barricade we actually didn't get rid of those two eggs there so hopefully we're able to there you go took care of that one and uh, we have one left and we actually couldn't get that one done so go ahead and use the policeman other policemen, the guard and jailer, so they can go straight into the barricade. We have even more blue runners, which are super crazy. Now we managed to make it to the barricade, but both of those two eggs there got rid of my melee units, jailer and the guard. So I'm gonna bring another jailer once again. I do want to bring the guard out, out as well. But we have so many blue runners, and they can be so dangerous, and they do so much damage. So yes, we do need a system. And wow, of course, we have more eggs. They managed to get rid of my units there. That bad flip again. Super awesome. So, I'm gonna bring another guard. We have one jailer there. Managed to make it to the barricade. And then, I'm gonna bring another jailer. 
other policeman. Let's go ahead and use this just in case we have an egg there. And we're gonna get rid of the egg. Now we managed to make it first case. Hopefully, we are able to take all of this down. And just like that, we took this one down as well. Let's try one more before we close this episode so you guys can get more, even more gameplay about this woman, Judy. And then let's go ahead and try maybe one of the super, super hard ones, which is. I think animation towers the last one is super hard. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oh, this one's normal actually. Uh I know this one for sure is a nightmare. So we're gonna try this one. And let's see how well we are going to do here. We have the egg, so which we can actually do this and start hitting them and open open them up. Open them up so we can actually do uh we, we actually couldn't do it. We can do with the range melee unit well not the range melee unit but the range attack so we actually have to hit them once before we can do damage and now we have the blue runners which might take me down there you go Pop them down awesome and we also have those guys who will come back to life unless we turn them into fire we have the policeman out what are you doing why was he standing there not doing anything why don't bring police judy out and this one looks like it's going to be a tough one for us. Let's go ahead and bring the gunslinger. I think the gunslinger is not doing so well in this. Let's go ahead and bring my generator. And then we have two more eggs. Hopefully, policeman Judy and the gunslinger can actually take them down before they take my units down. Come on, guys. You guys got this. But actually, I, I have to use this because I know eventually they would have taken policeman Judy out. And they actually did. And now this guy is onto the barricade, which is not good. If we get a more couple of hits, we're actually going to be down. Let's go ahead and bring policeman Judy out once again. Let's go ahead and use this. Also, let's get, like, this is perfect timing for this. Let's get rid of all of those. But like I said, you can actually not do damage against those unless you hit them once. Let's go ahead and use my guard so we can actually make it to the egg. Wow, look at that. We couldn't make it there. Let's go ahead and wait for the gunslinger to be ready. Once he's going to take the gunslinger out, go ahead and bring Jailer. Give it all of those. I'm not sure if we will be. Oh no, come on. Don't make it to barricade. And if they hit it two more times, I think we're going to be dead for sure. So let's wait. But another one of these. Wow, but even though I have two generators, it doesn't feel like I'm getting enough water though. Wait, I'm going to wait for the gunslinger to be ready because I think my main concern right now is the eggs. Because they are so crazy powerful and they can pretty much just take care of my units. Only one egg. I'm gonna bring another policeman, Judy out, go ahead and bring the guard, go ahead and bring Jailer. Oh and I think I think we just noticed that Jailer has a different animation or is it me just going crazy? Did I just notice that now or I'm not really sure. Let's just gonna actually take Jailer out once again. I don't know, I think maybe maybe I'm just going crazy. But most likely we only have 25 seconds to make it in. Although we do have a lot of range units that I think we might be able to survive the horde. We only have 20 seconds to make it. And we're actually pretty close. All we have to do is bring uh, my range, not my range, but my melee units to the barricade. We only have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like I said, we do have plenty of units here, so I think we actually might be able to, you know, even though we have the horde coming in, we actually might be able to make it to the barricade and finish this. Wow, so many wishes. Yeah, oh my god, so close, so close. We're going to use this once again, and if I get hit one more time, I'm going to be done, but we're actually trying really hard not to die here. Now let's go ahead and bring my mute units and finally they managed to make the barricade and it looks like we are going to be able to take this mission down which is super awesome but that's it for this one guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about the brand new unit police main judy she looks super awesome and i cannot wait to see what all the skins we are going to be getting in this in this new game well it's not a new game but you guys know what i'm saying so it's it for this one guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace